<clears throat> Hi everyone, Ellie here and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to be doing a massive makeup declutter video. So this consists of all my bronzers, blushes and highlights. As you can see, they're scraped all across the floor. I've got them all here. This is a massive, massive pile and I just, it's overwhelming now. I am um, just, I absolutely adore collecting makeup. Um, and I do buy all my own makeup with my own money um, and then I get gifted some makeup but it's just come to the point now where it's just so overwhelming to have this much and I definitely want to kind of cut down because I know there's a lot of stuff in here that I just never ever reach for um, and it's just got to the point where basically it's just a little bit crazy um, so we're going to kind of be going through section by section even though it's all just scattered in and they are kind of separated a bit we have blush in the middle highlights here and bronzers here we're going to leave a blush to last because I have the most blushes like out of them all I have absolutely tons and tons and tons and tons of blushes like most of this section is like all blush um so we are going to go through my highlights here because they are here and we'll start with this little section um I will I doubt I'm going to do swatches because I'm not necessarily very good I will try swatch a few bits for you but I definitely will be showing a lot of bits I do have a nice Huda Beauty box here which I will be putting in the things that I'm going to be decluttering um obviously at the minute it's a bit hard to like donate to charities and stuff due to the situation so this would just be like my little declutter box which I will be maybe putting on my Depop I do have a few bits up on my Depop already um but things I will be posting on my Depop which I will leave the name of my Depop pop down below in the comments in the um info section yeah in the info section what am i saying um and then the rest i would give to like maybe friends and family e-tech so i don't think there's anything here that actually needs to be chucked out none of this is really that old um so without further ado we're just gonna jump straight in i hope you enjoy this video i just thought a lot of people have wanted me to do like videos like this so i just thought you know what i wanted to do it thought i'll bring you guys along with me so first of all we have one two four five six five, six six ofra highlighters now these are one of my favorite favorite highlighters uh, as well as the becca ones so these are going to be quite tough i'm sure there's maybe like one in here i could possibly get rid of so the first one we have is beverly hills which is just as you can see like look how my phone is yeah there we go look how my phone is stood right now i do not have a tripod and it's kind of just wedged between my drawer but that is the first one this one is beverly hills so this has got like i kind of like swirl between these lighter shades obviously i don't use this darker shade i haven't really been found that i've been reaching for this actually um just because of the concept of it so i don't actually know about this one i think i'm gonna put this one in the maybe pile i'm gonna have a little maybe pile just to decide after um this one i'm gonna be decluttering this is the cloud nine one this is the one that i know i can definitely declutter this was a nikki tutorials one it just has like a really really pink shift to it i don't know whether you'll like be able to see um but people in this one know that it does have a really really big shift to it and it's just not my real cup of tea so i'm gonna pop that in the declutter box here and i'm gonna get rid of that one um so i think it's justifiable to keep my beverly hills one so i'm gonna keep my beverly hills one um the next one we have is rodeo drive this is probably one of my favorite ones absolutely love this this is just the classic keep on that the next one is star island this is like the perfect one for me really it suits my skin tone perfectly it's just the absolute perfect color so i'm going to keep this one um next we have blissful again this is just the classic one really isn't it so i'm going to keep this one as well that one's more of a rose gold and then we will keep this one as well this one's in pillow talk this is like the reason i would keep this one is just because i don't have any other pink highlighters like this this one is very unique in my collection so i just feel like i need to keep like at least kind of one of different tones in it if i had a few of these i probably would declare this one but i don't so i'm actually going to keep these ofra does do one of my favorite highlight formulas so i think it's fine to keep what i've kept because i do reach for those a lot um next we have my three becca highlighters so we have moonstone opal oh, 
Moonstone, Opal and Champagne Pop. The three classic shades. Opal, actually, Opal is my favourite out of them all. Champagne Pop used to be my favourite, but I don't know if you can see where I've got, like smushed it around the edges, but the whole pan actually come out this morning. I was about to put it on and it was like completely on the mirror side. I was like, oh my goodness. So I've kind of just like patted it down with like a cotton bud because anybody who owns Becca highlighters knows that these are the most fragile things on earth. You take this, you drop it, it's, it's dead, it's gone um but they have one of the most insane formulas i have ever tried i don't know whether that's a good swatch probably not swatches are awful um but i just absolutely love 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 these highlighters for the life of me so you see i just rub my finger in my rug there my poor rug um but definitely going to be keeping all three of these um this one's Moonstone. It's probably my least favourite. It's kind of like a, a more of a subtle one. Champagne Pot was like my OG, literally. I absolutely am obsessed with Becca highlights. If I'm going to reach for highlighters, it would either be my Ofra or my Becca. So now it can maybe start getting a bit easier for decluttering some products. Um, let's go for some things I know I'm going to declutter. So this is one of them. This is the Revolution Pro um, Lustier Highlight. This is highly pigmented, easily blendable highlighter in white rose. Now, don't get me wrong. This is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And even the packaging itself is just gorgeous. But I just never, ever, ever reach for it. This is actually very crumbly. Like, I don't know if you can see, like, if you kind of rub your hand, like, look at all the crumbles that kind of come off with it. And it's very... Yeah, it's very insanely pigmented. Very, very, very pigmented, as you can see on my hand there, just above. It's got obviously a pink shift to it, but yeah, it's just very, very, very <laughs> crumbly. So you literally do anything and like loads and loads of crumbles come off. And obviously you get like a thick amount of products on your brush. So I don't, just don't really like that concept. It's just not very smooth in my opinion. So I'm gonna get rid of this one um because this has barely been used and i've only really swatched it i am probably going to pop this one on my depot as well as my over one because my over one i've never actually used i think i've swatched maybe a few times i like swatch things a few times to know if i'm sure but i've never actually used these so i probably pop them on my depot because they're in good condition um and i think at the moment like i would only use my face pr um, products with my brush anyway i would not use these with obviously um my fingers or anything even though i just swatched it but they will be disinfected before um sending off obviously so pop those in there the next highlight i have is the dose of colors desi times kt um highlight in fuego now i'm so indecisive about this because it's the most gorgeous thing ever like the packaging is life like look at the packaging it's just absolutely beautiful but it's actually so dark i don't know whether you can see look how light my skin is this is actually so so dark for me um my camera falling there we go um this is actually so dark for me which is such a shame um i don't know if i could maybe just show I don't know whether that's very good or not yeah you can see that it's very dark on my complexion it could probably work if i mixed it in with other colors but i think i'm just keeping this because the packaging is like everything but i just don't know i don't see the point in keeping it if it's like so 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 dark like i just don't see the point so i'm going to declutter this one although it's beautiful definitely putting this on my depop because i think i've literally only swatched it as well as you can see it's just such a shame i can't use this one because it's literally it's beautiful but yeah it's just too dark i think the whole range was just too dark in general really it was more suited for deeper skin tones um doing well so far i feel i've literally got my ofras and my beccas um next we have is this um my kylie ones yeah so we have three kylighters i am absolutely obsessed with kylie cosmetics kylie cosmetics is one of my favorite 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 brands um so uh, there's no doubt that i would probably be keeping all of these we have snow angel which is in like a limited edition package um from the winter collection which i'm absolutely obsessed with i was about to put in the declutter pile then i'm keeping that for sure we have ice me out which was my first which is just so beautiful and icy and just gorgeous um carly's packaging is just so nice and sleek and like it's the proper thickness and it's just so nice and i just i'm obsessed with the drip and this one is in quartz so i'm gonna be keeping all them none of them is too dark they all work perfectly for my skin tone they all look really nice on my skin um so i'm going to be keeping all of those um the next highlights are highlighter i have is the anastasia amrezi this is so freaking amazing 
as you can see look how much i have used it i'm absolutely obsessed with this highlighter this is limited edition obviously which is such a shame because oh this was just such a big hit and i don't know why they didn't like rebring this back out but anastasia has brought out a new highlighter now like an ice me out one i think um but this one is just so beautiful so i'm definitely going to be keeping this one because i do love it and i reach for it so much so i'm going to keep that one um this one next we have the bomb merry luminizer now i'm very indecisive about this i'm very indecisive about this because it's so beautiful and it's just got like the most soft subtle sheen i'm literally i'm terrible at swatches why do i why do i even like sign up for this um but it's just like anybody who owns this know it's just like the most beautiful subtle light it's just so gorgeous on the skin and like this is obviously very old now because it was wear a long time ago but i just oh i'm really indecisive about this one because again it's just such a beautiful like, everyday highlighter but i just i never reach for it i never reach for it i'm gonna put this in the maybe pile that's the only one i'm kind of like a maybe about right now let me just kind of push this over a bit stable it out <laughs> it's not very it's not uh resting on much really it's kind of just balancing on there um let's put on next we have the morphe this is the high impact highlighter in extra what is that um this is beautiful as you can see it's just like such a nice light like golden shade and again it's so similar to merry luminizer oh, let me just i need to swatch these like next to each other i don't know whether you can see but like they are swatched next to each other right there on my palm but like they are so similar it's just it's merged into one because basically they are the same color this one's probably like a tad darker um but actually i'm gonna declutter the morphe one i might put this up on my depot because again it's only been literally used like the once and i think i might keep the mary lou yeah i'm gonna keep this just because it's a classic really isn't it our keep pile here and obviously we've got my little declutter box here which has got some good items in so far i mean for me to even get rid of anything is such a um achievement really because i'm absolutely obsessed and addicted to makeup so for me to even get rid of anything that i'm proud of that i am proud of that um let's see let's see next we have these two two faced love lights highlighters these are just like the most beautiful little things ever um we have you light up my life which looks like this um and then we have ray of light so there is another one in this collection but i only have these two this one's like a rose gold and then this one is like a gold as you can see this one is a bit too dark so i'm actually going to declutter this one it's literally only been swatched um so i'm actually going to declutter this gold one unfortunately it is too dark um actually i might declutter this one as well i think i might declutter this one um it is beautiful it's really nice but I just never reach for it and i just think maybe i could sell it for like a bundle yeah i'm just gonna get rid of this. i just don't need them girl you just don't need them you have way too much um next we have the smashbox um times up vlada petal metal highlighter of course this is just unreal unreal the packaging everything about this one is just absolutely beautiful um this one is in gilded rose it's just so lush it's just absolutely everything um i am going to be keeping this one because i just love the packaging and i love the product i don't really reach for it that much but i want to keep it i'm going to keep this one um next we have the nars times man ray double take highlighter this is what this one looks like wow i mean wow can we just can we just take a minute look how amazing this is look how amazing it's just literally everything i don't really think it's showing up well on the camera but this is actually quite dark for my complexion um but i mean how could i get rid of this like i mean come on how could you even like look you can see this one right here that is the one i just watched yeah this one right here is tad too dark which is a real shame but i think that i will definitely mix this with some i think it's good to keep like one deeper highlighter um because i could possibly use this for like if i fake tan and stuff when i do when i go on holidays and stuff 
so i am going to keep this one because it's just absolutely beautiful and such a beautiful yeah it's just a gorgeous product so i feel like i need to keep that one i just oh, I need it i need it next we have my mac highlighter now we do have a few others they're in buried in this pile somewhere um, um, um one day when i actually come across it i do actually have another mac highlighter somewhere there it is so we actually have three mac highlighters so these are the mac ones that i have so the first one we have is mac soft and gentle this is just the absolute classic it's a classic no doubt that i'm keeping this one absolutely i'm obsessed with it then we have the disney aladdin uh, mac highlighter this one is in always one jump head as you can see look how beautiful this is look how amazing it is i am just absolutely obsessed with this um in general i'm kind of obsessed with like the packaging and like the embossment but i never reach for it it's too dark um i paid a lot of money for this i think i bought this off someone for about 30 pounds because obviously this is like really rare and like hard to get and i just never ever ever reach for it i think i just wanted it because of the packaging and i think that's such a stupid concept so i think i'm actually going to get rid of it i'm not like literally chuck it out but i think i'm actually going to pop this one on my depop um and hopefully try and make some of it back the money that i paid for this i think i just like want stuff because the packaging is cute and i just think girl you just need to get over uh, like you know that fad of the packaging i think i just need something that's going to look nice um and that i'm going to use often um and it's going to work for my skin tone and this unfortunately doesn't so i'm actually going to get rid of that which makes me sad um and then i'm actually also going to get rid of this mac one as well i don't know what collection this was part of the electric wonder collection this is the serenity seeker now i don't really know what this is it's kind of like um it just says iridescent powder so i guess you could kind of use it as a bronzer blush or highlight as you can see it's like brown but it's got pink and then it's like gold it's just a really weird product i really don't like understand the point of it as you can see it's like so dark so i don't really know why i had it in my highlight drawer but <sighs> yeah i'm gonna get rid of this one it's just it's just weird it's just a weird concept i just never reach for it um i think that it would be like too golden and luminous to use as a bronzer and then it's too dark to use for a blush too dark for a highlight so what's the point in keeping it i might as well try and make some money back on that one as well um next highlighters we have we have three of the dull um beauty highlights we have um shine bright we have like a diamond and we have pretty little thing so shine bright is my favorite by far it's just the most beautiful gold base it's basically a dupe for the Anne Rizzi. it's just absolutely stunning these are the most incredible and then actually like a diamond was like the first highlight that i got is lighter than shine bright but these are just absolutely gorgeous like i can't tell you how gorgeous these are um for the price and everything it's just unreal and then this one's pretty little glow as you can see this one has got like a crack there this one is a bit of a weird because when you kind of like shine it it kind of looks a bit like greeny a bit weird um but it is actually just like a beautiful gold if i can actually do a decent swatch maybe oh my god how awkward is this mine can you see that i am so awkward look at me i'm like trying to get a trying to get a view there i'm literally oh my god i hate myself i can't even get a swatch it's basically the one in the middle there the one that's like really gleaming at this one here i don't know why i decided to try swatch it on my wrist but yeah it's definitely a really gorgeous blinding highlight um and it's definitely works for my skin tone really well as well in the pan it kind of looks like it wouldn't but it does really well so i'm going to keep all three of these because again i am obsessed with those i do reach for them a lot i think we might be coming up to the last few or unless this is my last one no i think i've got a few more this is the fenty um kilowatt highlighter in lightning dust and fire crystal this is what this one looks like as you can see it's got a big nail mark there where i dug my nail into it but this is the only kind of fenty cheap product i have i believe no i do have a fenty bronzer i do love fenty as a brand i just like I don't really buy a lot of their products i don't know why i should really i think it's just because they're kind of like hard to get um 
but this one is beautiful and i really do like it it's a really gorgeous sub tool um highlight on the skin and i just really like it so i'm actually going to keep that one um let me just see what i have left i think these are all kind of just jumbled in i don't know why i've done that that was stupid of me but um i think this might be our last two yeah this might be the last two so the last two we have is from ColourPop. these are the disney princess highlighters now we have this one i don't actually know which collection they said this was part of i can't actually someone put it in the comments down below i don't know whether i'm just being you know delusional maybe hercules or something i don't even know but this one is in big touch girl and as you can see this is like a, such a weirdy color this is like a purpley white kind of um it's like a very pinky purpley kind of color um and you can see it right there it's probably not showing up that well on the skin but these are like so creamy this is very very pink like very purpley pink um oh this one is unreal this one this one is the cinderella one this is just the most amazing gold i absolutely love colourpop colourpop is like one of my favorite brands this is just such a beautiful gold color and i just absolutely love this one and obviously cinderella so i'm going to be keeping that one this one oh um i think i'm going to declutter this one i just don't need it it's like it's a weird color i wouldn't ever see myself wearing like kind of a pinkly purple color like that um so if i don't see myself wearing it what's the point in keeping it so i'm actually gonna get rid of this one as well um so that is it for my highlight as you can see the doll beauty bits always ping off don't know whether anybody else gets that problem um but anyway i feel like this video has kind of been long enough for what it is i kind of want to maybe split this into sections i didn't really think it was going to take that long just to declutter my highlights um but i'm very very pleased with what i've declared and what i've kept um so we're actually going to split this maybe into like a little three part i may do my blushes and bronzers together depending on how long that takes i do have a ton of blush um but i kind of just don't want to make this like that long i kind of would rather split this into smaller videos nice snappy and short so you can like obviously clearly easily see everything because i did do a lot of swatches in there as well so anyway this is my declutter pile this is my key pile right here. So in total, I've kept 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. And I have decluttered 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I've decluttered 9 and I've kept 21. So I still kept more than I have decluttered, but I'm really happy with what I've decluttered and I'm really happy with what I've kept. And I just think it's only necessary to keep what I'm going to use and to keep what I'm going to love. And I just think I love this little pile here and it will really give me the chance to kind of, if I want to have more products, if I want to try something new, then I can like add to this pile and I don't feel like it's too overwhelming or too much. Um, so I'm really happy with that because that's quite a nice little small um selection for what a lot of people have so this is my keep this is my declutter i hope you've enjoyed this video make sure you stay tuned for part two and three and i will see you in the next video bye for now